How's it going, YouTubers? Roz Grease DMC here. Now with a first look of Train Simulator 2015. Now, originally I have had Train Simulator 2014, and this is the updated version of that game, uh, really, but they changed here a few things, now that the world editor here, which I don't know if that was uh, necessarily right on the main menu before, uh, of course they got the Academy as well, now what the Academy does, it teaches you actually how to drive the trains, which is something that they haven't done before, I don't know if you ever tried playing this game, but it's not the easiest game in the world uh, to play, especially when you get the steam engines. Uh, driving the trains is easy enough. It's actually just everything else all around it that you may actually have a problem with. So, but uh, actually, so that's a really nice feature. It seems like they do have a, a few things as well uh, that they have added here as far as... Uh, Deliveries and stuff like that. I hear like the weather effects seem to be a little bit better, but just like the game before it, it is still glitchy. Definitely, definitely glitchy. <laughs> so right now here's drive, and they actually uh, proved this as well. So uh, everything is right here. You have your free mode, your standard, career, and quick drive with the quick try showing every single engine that you have in your inventory and since I did have 2014 before at least all my engines seem to have saved thank god <laughs> because I would have really pissed if uh, they didn't save but uh, one thing that I did notice that I'm a little ticked off about is that on my career mode now according to the bottom I'm guessing this is my level uh, but all the Scenarios that I have completed already are gone. Sec 4 2. This here, Empire Builder Part 1, and Stanford Local. For whatever reason, the other ones are completely gone. Oh, with the Keystone. I don't even remember completing that one and this one. But uh, I don't know why they're all gone. If That really sucks. But uh, anyway, that's neither here or there. We just want to see what improvements they have made to the game. Uh, the, it seems I was testing this before. Seems to run a you know a lot better uh, as far as frame rate frame rate wise, but um, I'm still a little skeptical. So let's just uh, play a few scenarios here. Uh, go into standard. Uh, play a few scenarios here. Not gonna go into career mode uh, just yet because I do just want to get a feel to see uh, um, what the game has to offer. I have no idea if Independence Day. I don't even know what any of this stuff is. Your birthday? <laughs> what is this? Uh, where's the steam locomotive? You know, I'm just gonna go to career. Let's just do that one. I'm not gonna... Probably won't pay, play it in full, because I do want to test out a few, but I... A few different uh, scenarios here. However, the PRK4 is probably one of my favorite engines in this Atari game, so let's start with that, shall we? Alright, well here we are. In uh first scenario, just trying to see what we got going on here. Uh sorry it's very loud. I was trying to adjust the uh volume before, but there's nothing I could do about that. But once I get this train moving, we will you know, we'll get a little bit more quiet. So let's get underway here. Oh, come on. There we go. That's a little bit better now. These steam engines are just so loud. Or maybe it's just the game itself, who knows. Oh, already wheel split. Where's my sander? There it is. See, that was quick. <laughs> oh, I guess we're, are we moving? Yeah, we're moving. This is not want to tell me any speed. Alright, so the game itself seems to be running better. Um, I am using... My PC is a CyberPower fangbook. Uh, just got it this year. Uh, it is uh, running about, I think it was, uh, 6 gigs of video memory, 16 gigs of RAM. So it does run pretty well. Um, and, no, actually, it seems to be coping okay. 
I love this man, dude. Listen to this. Ah, oh, that's great. That is superb. Now, if you're not familiar with the Horseshoe Curve, uh, Horseshoe Curve is located in Pennsylvania. Uh, the scenario itself is taking, does take place in the mid 20th century. I think like around the uh, 50s, something like that. Now, uh, one thing, if you have seen Train Simulator videos before, you do have to watch your boiler uh, pressure as well as your brake pressure. Well, not really the brake pressure, more or less the boiler pressure. Um, because I don't want to deal with the management side of things when it comes to uh, you know, maintaining uh, fire control as well as steam. I do have that set to automatic. I'll just slow down here. We are coming into the station now to pick up our passengers who will be taking this journey with us. Uh, okay, my slow down now. I'll probably wind up into the station. Couldn't do a first to help us slow down. Alright. Alright, uh, slowing down too much. Slowing down way too much. Crap, go, 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 go. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while, so. Uh, it's gonna. I just played it for a few minutes just to see what the changes were. But overall, I have not played this game in a while, so it's gonna be very interesting to see here uh, how I do. Alright, now we start slowing down. Well, gotta reduce the uh, accelerator. No, speed up. Uh, these steam engines, they're so. they're such fun to drive, but they're so difficult. <laughs> Come on, come on, almost, we gotta see the whole part of the, uh, whole train at the bottom needs to get into that green zone, so that way, uh, we get now, on, you know, load passengers up on the train, alright, stop, stop, please stop, ah, uh, okay, so now we can load the passengers on now, one thing about the passengers, everyone just seems so lifeless in this game. <laughs> Let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Look at this. I mean, it seems like they're a little better, but there's so many glitches in this freaking game. It's ridiculous. And I'll probably just be showing you some of those later that I spotted. I thought it would be pretty funny. Hey, I picked the passengers from Apu and now call them Galaxy, Crescent, and Johnson. So let's get her going. Oh, I love that. Come on. Let's go. Alright. So. I'm like, why is it moving? Alright. Now, of course, to get it moving you have to make sure that the boiler pressure is in the green. Uh, also to maintain speed as well. If it does get into the red, uh, you will lose pressure and eventually will lose speed. So it's a very weird balance that you do have to uh, cope with in terms of getting everything to run correctly for you. Goodbye! Goodbye! Why are you checking to watch? What, you think I'm uh, late? Is that it? Okay. So, we to get now going now. Speed limit currently is 30, but we'll be hitting at 35 a little bit. Uh, let's do the passenger. Oh, nope, that's wrong view. I'll just see it pass by. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I just want to see how this, because usually the game slows down a little bit when they pass through the steam. No, it's actually running better. 
actually is running a little bit better. I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised that they have improved that. Let's see. I just, I'm just gonna do one more uh, side shot because that is just awesome. Look at that beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> oh, my best for now. Before I wind up uh, speeding. Okay. Right. And I guess that's for people's luggage. But um, I, actually, overall, the game does look a little bit better. I will say that. Uh, it doesn't. You know, the texture seems to be a little bit better. The engine is an old engine. I mean, the, they really need to get into the 21st century report. There's just so... I mean, I know it's a simulator game and you know, all of that, but there's just so much potential that you probably can't get you know, in terms of with this. The inside looks pretty quaint. Not bad. Losing speed, though. Um, 1.1% gradient going uphill. Maybe that's why. And then, of course, you got the interior of the train, which is just awesome. <laughs> got the little coal back there. It's usually supposed to be, you know, uh, someone shoveling the coal, as well as uh, someone, you know, driver and co-driver, I guess? No idea. Oh, what's going on? Oh, they're adding more. Okay. And look at that. Oh, I'm speeding. Look at that. That is just awesome. background. Now, I know a lot of people pan this game. I get it. It's not an action pack game. Let's get it straight. But it's just, I find it to be a very relaxing game. Um, you know, it's, I mean, really the only non-relaxing thing about it is just having to make sure that the engine is running correctly. Well, so, not the graphics engine, but the train itself. That's not so hard. But, uh, so anyway, yeah, this is so this has been uh, an example of Steam. So I'm gonna go look the back at this now, and we shall try out a different uh, train and a different scenario to so see how that one. All right, so here's our next scenario that we're gonna be testing today, which is the. Uh, Excella Express. Now this scenario is broke. It's just broken. It was broken before. It's broken again. Look at this. First of all, now I mean, I'm not saying the train itself is broken because it's not. It's actually a really cool train. But if you notice, we're inside and it's raining. That no, that's not how things work in the real world. I'll tell you. Look at this. Look at this. It. We're not, it's, you're not supposed to be getting rained on right now. You're in a station. <laughs> and that's not the end of it. That's, that's just the, the beginning. I mean, you want to talk about broken. Watch this right. Well, oh. oh, apparently we're going to get moving. But you just got to see some of the crap that goes on with the passengers at this station. Yeah, let's see what this guy does. Look, he's in the floor. He's in the floor! Why? Oh, this is just terrible. I, I mean, one thing I was hoping for when they updated the game is that they update this scenario at least. I mean, come on. Like, that's just bad. Uh, and it gets better. It gets better. It's, it is 2015, so... Look what we have! Flying cars! Yes. 
those are cars that not have that have not been mapped to the road correctly. Oh my god. Yeah, alright, I'm speeding. Whatever. Like, whoa. I mean, this is supposed to be a new update. Like, what is this? Look at this. Look at this crap. I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see it. They're flying. There's no road and they're flying. And not only that, they're not even on the road. They're, they're supposed to be off to, you know, obviously on the highway next that's running parallel to the track. And they're not. They're just not. This is just ridiculous. Alright, at least that's on the gravel, I suppose. Ugh. Good job, Train Simulator. Well, now that good whatever who are made this dope tail games i think great job you uh you did a fantastic job in terms of uh making sure everything's more realistic for your simulation game oh, all right i gotta be careful with my speed on this one but yeah so that's i don't even know if i want to continue with this you know but the weather effects are nice. But they've always been nice. I mean, they are improved. Uh, the, te the textures are improved a little bit, though. Like I said, the game is running smoother. Uh, definitely a nicer experience uh, with the uh, overall playing the game. It's just broken. It's just a broken game. And the uh, problem with it is that they charge it so much for DLC. I mean, where is all that money going to? Alright, well these cars are hurt. What the hell is there appearing this morning out of nowhere? <laughs> what, the, what the hell is that? Oh. oh my god. You know what? You know what, I completely give up. Let's just see if we can crash this bitch. Look at it just spawned. It the, the road just ends and it just spawned. That's it. Let's that that car's flying. The, the, they're flying. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. Let's just see if we can crash this. Let's crash this train. Yeah, I know I'm speeding. What gave it away? Uh, I think we're gonna crash it now, but yeah. Uh, so that's Excel Express, still broken beyond belief. But at least it looks nice. Uh, did look nice. Oh, I really hope somebody's in the station. Get out of the way! Move! Move! Even my horn is broken. Move! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Go! Yes! Yes! <laughs> it went through the floor! It went through the, the freaking track! <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. That was gorgeous. On to the next scenario, shall we? Alright, so this will be the last scenario that I'm going to test out and the reason why I want to do this one is because it's one of the newer ones uh, that they just came out with. We're going first, we were in the northeast, uh, was it, northeast corridor I guess and now we're in the uh, New York to New Haven, like that area. I forgot what the actual scenario is called. But the uh, reason why I want to test this scenario is just because this was always slow and it seems like nothing has changed whatsoever. Ugh. Every, it's just... I don't, and it's because there's a lot going on outside. Which is why I guess it's slow, but... Ah, uh, this, is, this is unacceptable. I mean, when you move, start moving away from the city and you get to see what I'm talking about in a few minutes. Uh, it gets better because I had, this is the one that I've completed. 
I just want to see how it, uh, you know, this one goes as far as with the new engine, but it, well, not new engine, it's the same freaking engine. Wow, this is, it's, actually, I think it's worse. I really do think it's worse than before. And I'm not exactly using a slow computer. I'm really not. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention before, with the, when I was doing the steam train earlier, was that I tried adjusting the volume, uh, so that way you could actually hear me, and it did absolutely nothing. Nothing. It's, it's almost like, why did I even bother? I mean, I, I put it down almost to low, and it was the exact same volume as before. Oh, well, what are you going to do? But, anyway, we're just going to play a little bit of this one. I'm going to get out of the uh, station here. Let's see. Yeah, I'll wind up skipping this part. Yay, we have made it to the outside world! Finally! Ah, oh, it's a nice bright day out too. Now we can finally see the train we're driving. Ah. Uh. Oh, now it's 60. I don't even realize that speed picked up. Now, aside the fact that the frame rate is just awful, I mean, I actually am a big fan of the scenario just because it just reminds me of like a regular you know, computer trip. You know, what I would normally go on if I was going, you know, needed to take the subway or the train, you know, train someplace. And the traffic is actually, you know, on the road this time. It's not flying in midair or actually on the track itself. And it's actually a really, really nice scenario. Um, and like I said, once you get further down the line, it does get better. I guess you move, like I said, you move away from the city, so it's not going to be as bad. But as far as details concerned, I mean, look at this. Oh, not that. Uh, which one? Oh, the plane. I mean, look, you got a lot going on here. You really do. So, I mean, I can't blame it too much, but for an older engine, it should be better an older graphics engine whatever you computer engine whatever the heck you want to call this thing anyway we should probably slow down we are getting into the uh, station now yeah let's uh I think so I think it's just how does this thing like this How does this thing work again? Oh, I don't think we're gonna stop. I completely forgot how to drive this freaking train, and I don't think we're gonna stop, so. Out of the way! Uh. Uh. Well, uh, okay, I, I don't think we stopped at the station. Is the tail of the train at least at the station? Um, would that count? Oh god, we're moving. We're moving, oh god. <laughs> Stop moving. Stop. Where are the brakes? How do you freaking stop this thing? Oh, that is the brake. But what? It was off. No, that isn't the brake. Well, we're stopped now, and apparently this is acceptable, so. Uh. 
And you know what? I think I'm going to end it right here. So, <laughs> nowhere near the uh, station itself. But if you do want to see more train simulators, let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please leave a like. Uh, I appreciate it. And as always, I will see you guys later.